Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. What are the things we can do with a 360 degree camera? A snapshot 360 degree photo, a 360 degree video, or a reframed photo and video pointing to any direction. Today, I will be showing you how I generated and uploaded 360 degree video and photo to YouTube and Facebook and I'm using an Insta360 ONE X2 camera. To generate a 360 degree video or photo is simple and straightforward. We just need to use the Insta360 Studio application and load our INSV files. I will guide you through some of the examples I took last weekend and generate both 360 degree video and photo. Here, we do the basic settings such as enable flow state stabilization and direction lock. Stitching settings, we enable dynamic stitching and chromatic calibration and that's it. Now for the export settings. Let's start with the file name, then change from default reframed video to 360 video. For best results, meaning low compression, we can use ProRes 422. Then hit the Start Export button to complete. We just need to wait for a while to complete the process. Let us test the exported video if we can play it in 360 mode using the VLC player. You can also use the game player as an alternative provided the ProRes 422 codec is installed. You can straight away upload the output file which is an MP4 or JPEG to your YouTube or Facebook applications. However, for 360 degree video that needs to be edited farther using your favorite editing software, you need to do one more step. I am using Filmora X to edit my video including the 360 footage. For this example, I added some text, audio, and the green screen subscribe button. Also, you can do color grading to enhance your video. For this case, I put my text and the other footage in the center line so it's easily visible to the audience, especially the 360 degree logo. Now it is time to export our enhanced 360 video to MP4. This would be the last step process, which is to inject the spatial media metadata back to the video. This way, YouTube and Facebook will recognize your video as a 360 degree footage. I will put in the description below the link where you can download the installer. Okay, now let us export the photo from this frame. We are in the 360 view and we find the switch FOV. Then select this icon. Now, click on the take snapshot and save your file. That's it. You can use the FSP viewer to check on your photo. Or you just drag it back to the Insta360 Studio to view it. Uploading 360 video in YouTube is the same as normal video. We have three versions that was uploaded. The first is a raw footage after Insta360 Studio export and it is recognized by YouTube. Second footage is an edited video without going through the metadata injector, which when viewed, it is not recognized by YouTube, therefore it shows as a flat video. The third footage is an edited video with metadata re-injected, and it is recognized. Now we go to Facebook and upload a 360 photo. This is a direct unedited JPEG file from Insta360 Studio and it is identified by Facebook as a 360 photo. That's all guys and if you have comments or new ideas that I didn't mention here, please comment it down below. And if you like this kind of content, consider to subscribe. It will help this channel to grow.
See you on our next video.